is a war breaking out in the Arctic. At least preparation for the worst is underway. Reports say the United States is contemplating building a weapon storage facility in the Arctic. The question is, is it in preparation to fight Russia? Now, these are the eight Arctic countries. Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia and the United States. Seven out of eight are NATO members. They consider an armed attack against one member as an attack against all. Remember, Finland and Sweden are the newest NATO members. The Russian president Vladimir Putin's fear has made them join the bloc. And now it is NATO's time to do its bit, you know, to ensure Finland and Sweden are protected, to ensure its weapons are deployed in the Arctic accordingly. Right now, America's APS or Army Prepositioned Stocks are placed in two sites in Germany, in Dulmen and Meniam. Now, there are also spots in the Netherlands, Eigerschoven, Poland's Powitz, Belgium's Zutendal and Italy's Livorno. But to defend Finland and Sweden, especially in the middle of the Ukraine war, the US will need to look high north at the Arctic. And where exactly? Norway is being looked at a, as, as a possible option. And how exactly do we know that? Well, meet Major General Ronald Reagan. He is the commanding general for America's 21st Theater Sustainment Command. And he recently said that Norway could be an option for future APS. Could it be near Svalbard? Did you know Norway Svalbard Archipelago is the world's northernmost permanent human settlement? Svalbard, in fact, is also very close to Russian Kola. That's where Moscow has a submarine station. Picking a place for weapon storage will not be so simple. Such deals include long diplomatic process. After all, we are talking about placing weapons in another country. It's not simple or small. I mentioned APS, Army Prepositioned Stock. What do you think goes into such stocks? The current European sites have equipment that's worth sustaining an armored brigade combat team. There are also engineers, artillery, military police, medical capabilities. These are huge spaces. The Zutendal stock site, for example, has 28 warehouses. These have 990,000 square feet of space. Plus, you have an additional 77,000 square yards of outdoor staging, 27 maintenance bays, 12,000 square feet of hazardous material storage, and more. Where in Norway could such a place come up is the question. And if not Norway, then where? Look at some of the places where Russia is stationed. There is the Olengorsk site in the Kola Peninsula. There is also Vorkota, which is just north of the Arctic Circle. At Ostrovnoi, by the Barents Sea, Russia reportedly has resonance and radar systems. Russia claims this radar system can detect stealth aircraft and objects. In fact, Russia has deployed this radar at the Arctic. It also has runways in the Arctic. Reports claim there are weatherproof enclosures at Russia's Tixi air defense site. You see, the Arctic has been a very important oil and gas sector for Russia. Nearly 20% of the country's GDP comes from the Arctic area. So the country has had its hold over the region for a while now. And over the years, Russia has deployed military resources there. It has refurbished old Soviet bases in the Arctic. And Russia has tested hypersonic missiles in the Arctic. Not too long ago, Chinese and Russians jointly patrolled waters in the Arctic near Alaska. And by the way, in 2018, in a 2018 declaration rather, China called itself a near Arctic power. It designates the Arctic for considerable investment and considers Russia as a potential partner in the Arctic. But that's a story for another day. Today, things are fast changing in the Arctic to say the least. Polar ice caps are melting. New shipping routes are opening up. And Asia, Europe, sea route along the Russian coast could significantly cut the journey time. We are basically looking at around two weeks less. The northern sea route is already garnering a lot of attention. And if this route becomes a vital shipping lane, then Russia gets to control almost all of this route. It also gets a huge diplomatic and economic leverage. 
and the West knows this. There is something else as well it is concerned about. Western experts point that Russia operates a third more Arctic military bases than the US and NATO combined. In other words, it has strategic advantage in the Arctic. And that's not even all. There is also the century-old treaty allowing Russians to live in Svalbard visa-free. So is it the US now trying to play catch-up? Is the NATO trying to match Russian firepower in the Arctic? Last year, the NATO chief was quoted as saying the shortest way from Russia to North America is over the Arctic North Pole. So the strategic importance of these areas has not changed because of the war in Ukraine, quote unquote. You see, what has changed since the beginning of the war is the sense of security among the European countries. One that has nudged Finland and Sweden to join the NATO. And now NATO must get down to work, basically, and prepare to defend these countries. But will it, in the process, end up provoking Russia? Just yesterday, we told you how a Russian ambassador had made some rather uh, sh harsh comments as far as Finland is concerned. Pavel Kuznetsov, who is Russia's ambassador to Finland, said that Russia would retaliate if NATO-backed nuclear weapons were placed on Finnish soil. Kuznetsov said, and I'm quoting again, the Finns cannot but realize that such a major provocation will not be left without a Russian response. What about an American weapon storage in the Arctic? How would Russia react to that? Will the fast-moving developments make the Arctic the next flashpoint? To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.